Hello, my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your reading for October 2020. Libra, if you need a, re a personal reading, you can also reach out through my website and my Etsy shop down in the description box below. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, all my uh, information is there. So please do reach out. And um, I also have bracelets that you can uh, check out, crystal bracelets that I make. And I will be putting more very soon. I received new crystal beads. So if you want to go ahead and check that out. Libra, your energy is very heavy. Uh, just before hitting that record button, I was feeling, I'm actually still feeling it around my neck. So you might be feeling really stressed out. I usually don't get pain in this area unless I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing it from an energy. So I might be really uh, tuning into somebody's energy here. Just the heaviness. The heaviness is in the back area where the shoulder blades are, all the way up to the neck area. You should really try to whew, ground the energy, Libra. Ground the energy. Practice breathing in from the nose, out from the mouth. Any any breathing exercises that resonate with you and that are just going to help you get your blood oxygenated again. Because it's all up here from the shoulders, shoulder blades in the back, all the way up. So upper chakras from the heart, probably. There's a lot of activations going on. Ooh, October. This is your season, Libra. Happy birthday. Gosh, it's not going to be an easy season. And I have to, I have to really be real with you because the... The transits that are going on during Libra season are insane. And I will give you guys a few examples, such as Saturn going direct, still in Capricorn. It's been in retrograde all this time. So now it's gaining momentum. Mars is retrograding, squaring Saturn. So Mars being the masculine energy, Saturn being the boss. And it's, it's squaring, meaning there's tension and maybe there's this tug and pull and you feel like you're blo being blocked in some sort of way. Um, there's frustration. This is all internal. It's coming up for a lot of people. Um, we also have Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio. I think on October 5th. So that's going to be happening until November. So Scorpio is really, really, you know, intense, emotional. It's a water sign. And it's, I feel like one of the most intense uh, signs of the Zodiac because it really goes deep into our shadows. So we might be feeling more internal. We might be feeling more dark, darker energies. But it's all occurring because it needs to be acknowledged and it needs to be addressed and it needs to be shed. So yeah, that's just to name a few transits that are going on in, during Libra season. But yeah, there's a lot more going on, obviously, and I'm not going to get into it here. So the first card, Libra, this is from my newest deck uh, called the Intuit Oracle. If you want to check out my unboxing video. I uploaded it a few days ago, and there's a reading that I do at the end of that, so check it out. So, the first two cards, Tracks, Waterfall. It's an emotional time for you. So, Tracks, I'll show it to you. Nobody's there, but it's like you're going straight ahead. Steady forward movement. It feels like you're not moving, but you are. You are progressing. You are, there's momentum here. Travel, you're on track. I think I can. You're one way, going the distance. Direct motion. I think when Saturn goes direct, and then when Mars goes direct in November, I think you're gonna feel the shift but it feels like you're on the right track and it feels like probably for a lot of you are traveling. This is travel. And if you're not traveling, this is symbolic of how, how far you've had to 
to go in your life, how far you've come. But they're saying stay the course, stay on, uh, you're on the right track, stay the course, don't get distracted. You might get distracted by things that trigger you with that Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio. That's bringing up your shadows. Now the next card is waterfalls. So this is what I'm saying. This is emotional. This is an outpouring, flood of emotions, abundance, overflowing, tears of sorrow or joy, release, fulfillment. Something needs to come to the surface to, in order to be released. We need to acknowledge it. So this is why maybe you've had to go this long distance in whatever it is that you're working through here in order to release something. Yeah, this is all about your ascension. Wow, ego. The ego is all about ascension. It's all about looking, you know, the ego flies high, but the ego is very graceful. And it's, it has this clear vision when it moves up. So challenge the status quo, opportunity, new hope, perspective, clear vision, past, present, future. This is connecting the dots from your past, present, future. Whatever is coming up, it's because of your past bleeding into the present and then potentially affecting your future. But you're coming to see that now. You're becoming more and more aware. And this is all because things are triggering you in an emotional way there's a lot of emotions that waterfall i keep getting drawn to the waterfall and it feels like it's emotional it's something that you need to release in the month of october okay what other messages do we have for libra so we have the new moon maiden which is all about new beginnings. New moons are about new beginnings, new energies, excitement, enchantment, expansion, carefree. I feel like once you go through the first half of October, being in this emotional limbo and you gaining that clarity with releasing, a new chapter will begin, a new cycle can begin. Because you need to release something. You need to let go of something. It could be something in your external or internal world. You have to look at what it is that we're still holding on to here. And this is how the door opens to this new beginning. And then we have church. Principle, religion, dogma, family values. This is about looking at your family values in a different perspective. With the eagle and the waterfall. Family values marriage collective consciousness tr tradition programming yeah this is the programming unfortunately i don't see this as being marriage because the surrounding cards are not about love or not about connection per se we don't know we can continue pulling out cards but it feels like there's a new perspective right the new moon the maiden is about expansion new beginnings expanding your consciousness letting go a, a programming a conditioning that you were shown in childhood or you were conditioned through you know family dynamics that needs to go they're saying Something needs to be brought to your attention when it comes to your programming. The way your mind is programmed is based on your conditioning. Island, foreign affairs, solo, isolation, standoffish, separation. Yeah, I feel like you feel, you probably don't feel a sense of belonging with within your community within the people around you within family dynamics 
Because this is lonely. This is loneliness. This is spread out. This is you feeling alienated. Separation, estranged, lonely. If you're dealing with someone, this can be someone who is um, far from you, live, doesn't live in the same area as you. You feel far from someone. You feel isolated. Yeah, this is looking at things more clearly. You see, we have Virgo plus the magnifying glass. Wow, that cannot say more than, cannot... Re I cannot reiterate this more. This is just saying again, clarifying, getting more information, clarity, research, examine the fine print, important details. And Virgo is all about that. So what do you need to analyze? Remember, Mercury in Scorpio retrograde is all about doing that. The is looking at the fine print as well. Scorpio is just goes, it just lurks under, you know, it It doesn't say that it's, it's looking and researching. Virgo is more practical when it comes to research and looking at the details. It's more sensual, it's more analytical, it's more critical. It's the hermit as well. You might be going through a hermit phase here in October. This is why you feel a disconnect from people, places, and things. Or you might be with people. People might be around you, but you feel completely isolated and alienated. We don't need to... We, we can feel alone all while being with people in the same room. Okay? So it's looking at that and it's seeing it and, and really being aware of it now. Now it's really in our face. The magnifying glass magnifies, is every, magnifies and makes it bigger. So we, we're now getting information now. And now we're feeling it. And this is why there's an emotional outpour where there's some grief here I'm feeling with, with some Libras. I'm not feeling those cards, so we're going to grab a few more. Going places, adventure, vacation, trip. Like I said, some of you are traveling. Some of you are traveling overseas. Entra enterprise, movement. This energy creates movement for you. Your ships will be coming in once you go through this first stage in October. Swift travel overseas, going places, adventure, vehicle, vacation, movement. I'm looking at it. Keep going back to movement. Movement. A lot of movement. A lot of shifts will be happening once you might have to go into hermit mode. Like I said, you might have to look into things more, more precisely, more deeply. Because Mercury in, in Scorpio is going to bring that out in a lot of us. Free spirit. Yeah, don't lose your free spirit. Your spirit, your free spirit nature. You're going to have to learn how to let go and not sweat the small stuff they're saying. Mystery. Interesting. Free spirit mystery. There's something that's not being shown to you that's that's being hidden. And I feel like that's why you want to look into things. The research, the magnifying glass. Something is still a mystery. Something is still not revealed to you. But they're saying you need to put yourself in this energy of innocence and free spirit. No matter how much we don't know about something or a situation that hasn't unfolded yet, an outcome. You need to preserve your sense of innocence, your, chi your inner child. Wants to come out and play, wants to laugh, wants to dance, wants to sing, wants to just be in the moment. Maybe that's what's going to show you that you're maybe too focused, you're too analytical, you're analyzing too many things. The more we analyze things, the more we see more and more details and, and it aggravates you. So we have to try to find a balance between... Trying to find 
what we need. But look, the truth will be revealed. This is all about looking at the truth. Interesting. This is so Scorpio energy, guys. Wow. Accepting the truth. Can't make this shit up. Acceptance. Something is hidden, right? It's a mystery. It's not being shown to you. It's not being revealed to you. The outcome of whatever situation you're waiting on. With truth tells me that there's something here that's being hidden, but you need to accept it. You need to accept this. Memories. This is bringing up a lot of memories for you. It's bringing up past things, past situations. This might also be you or this other person that's keeping something a secret. You get the truth and mystery card. You're holding something close to you still. And then we have re-energize. Yeah, the re-energize is basically you're, you're tiring, you're exhausting yourself from... looking into things too too much you just have to accept and let things the let things unfold and let things be the way they're supposed to be and it's okay to go into hermit mode if you need if you need to be and maybe you will have to go into hermit mode i just heard because they're asking you to re-energize you're putting too much energy into something that is not giving you any information. That's not allowing you to see the light. So that's what's coming up for you. I feel like in those cards. Let's see what other energies we pick up on for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Science. Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with family. Family legacy, inheritances. The wheel of fortune. Wow, the wheel. The wheel turns here. Luck is in your favor. I think this is possible for you, Libra. Ten of Pentacles is is commitment. It's solid. It's long term. It's stable with the wheel. Look how she's surrendering to it. She's open and she's finding that balance, right? Between the light and the dark. That's so interesting. It's the first time that I see that. And you see how this wheel is like a, oh man, when I'm so in Chinese, I forget words. Um, compass is the word. It's like you're actually following your true north, your destined path, just by being yourself. Look at this, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might have a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart, but the energy is, look, she's just being free. She's in the moment. She's passionate. She's delightful. She's embodying that fire, happiness, warmth, energy. Re-energized. That's what they keep saying. Re-energized. And look at this. Two of Cups. You might be at a distance from someone. This person might travel a lot. Queen of Cups. You go from the Queen of Wands to the Queen of Cups. Wow, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look how, again, she's surrendering to this. And she's actually feeling her feelings. She's her Half of her body is submerged in the water. And the Queen of Cups does embody water energy. So water energy is what? It's being more compassionate towards yourself. Being more compassionate towards your inner child that needs your attention and needs your 
healing. It needs time to play and time to laugh. She's surrendering. Children are really good at just being in the moment. And that's what we have to keep reminding ourselves. That we have to surrender to the, this moment in order to attract something of a higher vibration. Look at this. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer. Solid offer. From him. King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Look at this. He's very amused by you. You see how he's laughing? He finds you funny. He probably owns a dog. He's very solid, very, uh, very determined, very committed, very grounded. Page of Cups. Someone has a crush. Someone has a crush on you or you have a crush on someone. Page of Cups can be a younger water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or it could just simply be someone who is thinking of you. Thinking of reaching out to you. Thinking of... Should I reach out? You know, I see him pen, you know, pensive here. He's thinking. Should I? Should I make the move? Thinking about it. Eight of Swords, I feel like this is your energy. You keep overthinking something. You're trapped in your thoughts, in your logical mind. You're probably stressed, stressed, stressed because you don't see it. There's something that you don't see and you don't understand. With that mystery card, it's far. It feels far away. You feel disconnected. You feel disconnected from people, from family, from friends, whatever it is. But you need to start looking at how can you start embodying that Queen of Cups. And then the final card, Three of Wands. It's the waiting that, that really tortures you, eh? It really is torturing you. Three of Wands, waiting, waiting for something to come in. The waiting game has been long. But look at this, Ten of Cups. There's emotional fulfillment. There's potential for emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. So it is around the corner, but you need to really be careful with this energy of... Hmm... Wanting to control, right? Scorpio loves to control things. It's a fixed sign. Be assertive. Be assertive. Set your boundaries. Say no when when need be. Yes. Yes. Does yes mean that's going to be different for all of you? And it's up to you. You're leaving it up to you. You have free will in this situation. Communicate clearly. Someone might communicate with you, but it won't happen in the way that you think it will. Unlikely means that it, it will unlikely happen in when and where and how you'll want it to happen. Something about timing too, something being not the right time. So you really are going to have to be strong with that be an assertive card. For me, is be strong. Love yourself first. Worth waiting for. So love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I think this is the vibration that they're trying to get you on in October. How are you taking care of yourself? How are you putting yourself first? How are you looking at your shadows? How are you addressing those shadows? Because in, they need to be addressed in order for your inner child to heal. Because that's what the free spirit and the innocence card is talking about. You know. You're, you have an inner knowing of what needs to be healed. And that's part of self-love. It's looking at your shadows and healing them. 
coming to this place of acceptance, right? Because we did see that. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, like I said, it's not going to happen when you think it's going to happen. Let the divine guide you towards this offer. I see an offer from a King of Pentacles here, right? When is it going to come? We don't know. So, guys, I hope these messages were helpful and insightful. Please do reach out if you need a personal reading. Thank you for liking, for commenting, subscribing if you're new. Please share this message with another Libra. And you can check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. That will be coming up in the next few days. Have a great, great month. Happy birthday, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.